So I still haven't figured out a introduction for this channel yet. So for this video, at least it's just gonna be, hey, how you doing? Huh. Life, crazy, wow. So I feel like I have to give you guys backstory to like completely understand why this is so shocking to me. This whole mind blownness. That's not a word, but I made it one. So for those of you who don't know, I'm in nursing school. I, I'm in a fast track program. So basically it's fall, spring, summer, fall. It's one entire year and then I'll graduate and become an RN. I'll have my ADN and can work as a, a registered nurse. Obviously I am gonna do the bridge program to get my BSN, it's like another one year or so. And you know, before I even came into the program, I was telling myself, I'm going to be in the operating room. I love everything about surgery. I love Grey's Anatomy. I love like the whole procedural aspect of it and how everything has an order. In case you can't tell, I kind of have a type A personality, very much so, whether it be like my to-do list for things I gotta do in the day or just the way, I don't know, I just, I always have order in everything I do. Not to mention, I love patient care, but to an extent. Like I'm, I'm really introverted, despite the fact that I have three YouTube channels, I am very introverted whenever it's around, whenever I'm around people I don't know. And so I just, I, again, I thought the operating room from the very beginning was where I was going to be. So much so that like everybody in my class is like, Favor, you're gonna be in the OR. Favor, you're gonna be a first assist. Favor, would you wanna be a surgeon? Blah, 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 all this other stuff. Like OR was where I'm supposed to be. Tell me why we're in this third semester of the program. And I, I've lost it. I've lost the OR. The OR, it still interests me, but like NICU has come in, flapped it away. It's, it, it, OR is not even really in my mind anymore. Whenever I see myself now, all I see is me holding these babies. These babies, that's what happened. It's the babies that came in, infiltrated my brain with hormones and flipped my whole life upside down. But it's like, I, I want them to do it again and again and again. I love the babies. What's my car doing? That's the question. It's the babies. Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm in the third semester and it's our OB rotations for clinical. So I'm going in the NICU, I'm going into the labor and delivery, which I hate, I'm sorry, but I hated labor and delivery. The only thing that was interesting about L and D was the C-sections. And again, that's because I like OR, but sitting there for hours and waiting for this lady to get to 10 centimeters. I'm like, come on, cervix, dilate, my God. I, L and D is not for me, but the NICU absolutely because think about it you get the critical care aspect you get the um, emotion and like the 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 personal care with the parents which I'm going to go into that a little later in the video but the reason I went into nursing is because I want to care for people I want to I want to have that emotional like support for other people and I wouldn't get that I feel like as much in the OR this oh why is he staring though that's the question and he's got a beer bottle in his hand all right, y'all, um, I'm locking the doors. Hello. I probably shouldn't have parked in the middle of the woods to film this video, but it's like I was in the mood to, to talk about this and that's here we, here we are. As I was saying, I've been in NICU, I've been in l and I've been in postpartum, but where I felt the most drawn was definitely NICU. Now I've been in NICU twice now because I had officially three rotations in l and but my professor let me swap one of them out for NICU. And my very first day in NICU, I, I loved it, but there were a lot of things like making me hesitant. Not a lot of things, but one major thing for sure. So what happened was a dad was supposed to come in and take his daughter home. You know, she's supposed to graduate from the NICU, perfect. You know, you want your baby to go home, especially like, you don't want your baby in the NICU, you want them at home with you. Am I a rapper? And so the day, the day the baby's supposed to be discharged or whatever you wanna call it, she starts to crash. Her heart rate goes down, she stops breathing. Like the monitor is just beep, 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 like going off. And they're like, there's no way this baby's going home today. Like sure she was doing great the day before, or the day before that, but she just crashed so what happens if you take the baby home and she crashes at home like there's no monitors when she's sleeping in her crib at home to alert you that hey your baby's not breathing right now so obviously the nurses are like um we're gonna have to call this dad and let him know that 
they're not taking this baby home today. So apparently this has been a father who's been difficult and he's, he's just very like pompous and he talks down to the nurses and that's what they were saying his previous behavior was like. So now imagine that personality with the added weight of, hey, you're not gonna be able to take your daughter home today as, as you had planned. So the nurse calls him up and she's like trying to explain what happened and he's like, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And they're like, oh shit. Mind you, I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a stupid stu student. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm standing there watching all this go on about freaking out about thinking my nurse is about to get her ass kicked by some angry dad and so the dad pulls up literally pulls up like it's about to be a fight he pulls up and he's like what's going on and the nurse tells him again what she told him on the phone and he's like no that's we're not doing this i'm taking her home and he starts like talking down to the nurse and like he, just being really aggressive with her and that's when i was like "Ooh, i don't know about this a trailer towing a trailer texas and so he's like, I want to speak to the doctor. I want to speak to the doctor. So the doctor comes, the, uh, the nurse practitioner actually, and she just, she tells him the exact same thing that the, the nurse told him. Like, your daughter just crashed. If you want to take her home, by all means, you're allowed to. Like, we can't force you to keep her here. But just so you know, if you do that, she will probably die. Straight up like that. Straight to straight to the point. Told him straight up. Obviously, he's like, uh, he's angry. But he let his daughter stay because that's what she needed. But I'm just like, how would I deal with a situation like that? Like, that's where I'm going to need the most training. That's where I'm going to need the most education. And just like figuring out how to maneuver the parents. The second day, though, in the NICU, which, is, which was yesterday, the day before, it's been a long week, guys. I work five jobs. But the parents from the second shift were amazing. They just wanted to be educated. They wanted to know the status of their baby. And they they were just open to all the information the nurse was willing and able to give them. And I feel like I'm even getting emotional, like thinking about it, because just thinking what the parents are going through with your, and you just gave birth to this baby and now you have to come up to the hospital to see your own baby. It's just, it's really hard. And I want to be that support system and that care for the parents. Don't get me wrong. A part of me is like, okay, Faber, what are you going to do when one of those babies crash? Cause it's inevitably going to happen at some point in my career. I'm going to lose a baby. I've never lost a child. I've never lost an infant, but I have lost a lot of geriatric patients as well as just adult patients. And you you process it the, the best you can. You remember them, you think of all the good times, you, you think that you did all you can for them. You use that situation and think, okay, how can I now do better in the future? How can I use what I learned here and apply it to the next patient that I have, you know, the next situation that this may arise in. So it's all about just processing that emotional stuff. I'm going to learn the most in the NICU. I'm going to grow the most in the NICU. I love the OR, but I feel like that is the safe choice. My brain says OR, but my heart says NICU. So what do they always say in those love songs, bitch? Follow your heart. My heart, my soul, my body, a thousand mother freaking percent is in the NICU. And I'm just super excited. I'm super excited for the future. Um, I just took two exams. I have three more for the summer. Every week, mind you, the fast track is no joke. For any any person on this video or whatever thinking about going to nursing school, don't don't think you're gonna just sign up for the. This is what I thought. I was like, I'm a smart, uh, not to be not to you know to my own horn, but top 10% in high school, 3.75 GPA consistently through college. I was like, nursing school, I'm gonna ace it. No. I've never been more depressed. I've never been more sleep deprived. I've never been, my, do you see my skin? Dark spots galore from the stress. I don't eat right. So yeah, just don't think that you're gonna come up in nursing school and it's like, oh, I didn't wanna go to medical school so I became a nurse. It's not like that. You're just, you're gonna work just as hard with whatever route you go. I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to be a NICU nurse graduating December 2022 this year. Also, I got to tell y'all about the nonsense that's going on with my graduation. We got a new director. That's a whole other video though, because I don't know what's going. I, I already told myself if it stays the way it's staying, then I'm just not going and I'm going to do my own thing with my friends and family. But uh, we'll get into that in another video. There's tea. There's tea. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you're new here, like the video, and let me know what other content y'all want over on the vloggy channel. This is like my diary, my more personal place. So whatever you want to know, I'm open to tell you. Bye.